the first person diagnosed with the Wuhan coronavirus in the United States is being treated by few medical workers and robot. The robot, equipped with stethoscope, is helping doctors take the man's vitals and communicate with him through large screen, said Dr. George Diaz, chief of the Infectious Disease Division at the Providence Regional Medical Center in Everett, Washington. The man, who is in his 30s, was diagnosed with the virus on Monday. He initially went to an urgent care clinic on January 19 and told the staff that he was concerned about possibly having symptoms of the novel coronavirus because he recently traveled to Wuhan, China, Diaz said. He arrived at Seattle, Tacoma International Airport on January 15, before any health screenings began at U.S. airports, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has said. The Snohomish County resident was in stable condition Thursday and remains in isolation, Diaz said. Washington state health officials confirmed Thursday that they have reached out to 43 people considered close contacts of the 30-year-old man, who identified the people he had interacted with since returning from Wuhan, China. Those contacts will be called daily and actively monitored for signs of any illness. He arrived at the hospital in special isolated gurney called an isopod and has been treated in two bed isolated area away from busy sections of the hospital, the doctor said. The nursing staff in the room move the robot around so we can see the patient in the screen, talk to him, Diaz said, adding the use of the robot minimizes exposure of medical staff to the infected man. It's unclear when the patient will be released because the CDC, which is set to provide the discharge details, has recommended additional testing. They're looking for ongoing presence of the virus, Diaz told CNN on Thursday. They're looking to see when the patient is no longer contagious.